Zer's in the Whining Cove in the EDZ, and he is currently selling Prometheus Lens. So this is a really good trace rifle. If you guys don't have it, definitely uh, suggest you pick it up. Not only is it a trace rifle, it fires a solar trace beam and generates a damage and heat field that grows while the weapon can continues to fire, but also kills with this weapon return a fraction of ammo used to the magazine for, from reserves, extending the beam's duration. Uh, not only that, it also does have a catalyst, which is pretty good. Overall, I do suggest you pick it up. It's really good. There's a reason why Bungie ended up giving us an emblem for surviving Curse of Osiris because this shit was super obnoxious back in the day. So for hunters, we have Shinobu's Val, which is, I think, one of the shittiest uh, grenade uh exotics in the game for sure but i can't i can't say the stats are bad on this uh nine mobility is pretty low but if you put if you put a mobility mod on it it turns to a 19 so a 19 with a 22 uh recovery and it's 16 recover or uh discipline is pretty dope uh I, I i would actually pick this up if my shinobu's valve is bad then this is definitely one that i would pick up because again it's it's pretty decent actually not gonna lie um uh, if you have the ornament yeah you can you can use an ornament on this which is whatever but yeah this is pretty good the only like, like i said improve skip grenade and you gain an additional skip grenade charge skip grenades return energy when it damages the enemies i personally have never really liked this exotic just because skip grenades are kind of uh doo-doo butter but let me know your thoughts in the comments below uh, Lion Rampants for the Titans with horrid stats. You don't want to see, like, these are all bad, in my opinion. Uh, discipline super low. Mobility is way too high. There's nothing in discipline. I don't know. These these are definitely bad. But the good thing is you, you probably will never be using this, like, as your main, your, your bread and butter exotic. Uh, provides additional air, aerial maneuverability and enables accurate hit file while you are in the air during lift so again unless you're you're doing this in pvp i don't see you using this in pve just because like why would you but in pvp yeah this, these are these stats are are fucking garbage so unfortunate and last but not least crown of tempest this is a really good exotic for warlocks if you guys don't have this highly suggest you pick it up arc ability kills increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of storm trance so not only does this exotic help you get your super back fast as fuck boy but it also once you get a kill with an ability arc ability every arc ability you have including your rift comes back faster and once you have your super you hold it for longer because again this extends your duration as well so warlocks definitely have some of the better uh exotics when it comes to stuff like that uh kind of like nezrak sin as well like that it's just so many good things like that so this is definitely something i suggest warlocks to pick up it's really good also has really cool ornaments this is de definitely my favorite and you can also have a, a hive one if you if you want but yeah that's pretty much it uh, these are all pretty do pretty dog shit aside from like the shinobu's valves pretty good and stat wise the crown of tempest is like, okay uh, uh, You know what? Yeah, it's pretty good Let me do this actually just just in case so now for the weapons themselves true prophecy grave robber and time payload uh, I don't like grave robber, but time payload. That's pretty good so if you don't have a time payload true prophecy definitely pick this one up it's gonna be gross if it was range finder bro that would have been real filthy because that that's a really good one that i used to have and i don't have anymore seven sarah for volver uh not a good roll i think what was it last no i don't remember there was one that that zero was selling one week and it was so good uh nature of the beast let me see Mm. Quick draw and rangefinder. Isn't this 180? Yeah, it is 180. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of nature of the beast, so that's 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 all for you guys. Let from gold fire. Ooh, yo. Oh man, 
that's a really good roll. And they, they just fixed Fire Line too, or they fixed it a while ago, if I remember correctly. Uh, on a rapid fire, I don't know, but I've always wanted this roll, so I'm definitely gonna scoop it up. Uh, first in, last out, uh, hit fire grip and dem demo. Nah, that's not a good roll in my opinion. Definitely not. Uh, honors edge. I'm not even gonna go into it because tireless blade and counter attack is just disrespectful. The keening, hit fire grip, and yeah, okay, whatever. So, uh, I think the only ones that are like worth a shit are true prophecy and distant stimulus. Other than that, like. Everything else, like you, Nature of the Beast, maybe, but I, I'm not a really big fan of like 180s in Crucible, so that's the only way you would be using this. So, yeah, let's look at the armor and then uh, we'll get the exotic and then we'll dip out. So, this one is not good in my well, I don't know. I, I tend to value mobility and recovery a lot more than resilience. So if you're trying to do like a really high resilience, this is pretty good because you can do a 12, 16, 12. So essentially 12 mobility, uh, 16 resilience and 12 recovery. But I probably won't pick this up. Uh, this one also won't pick. I wouldn't pick this one up. Like this is the this is the worst part about being a hunter is the fact that like you'll never see a high mobility, high resilience, and a high recovery. I have never seen that, like forever. So that's unfortunate. Uh, cloak doesn't have anything. This one is actually pretty decent. Um, I say pretty decent because you are getting one on resilience if you masterwork this. It turns it to a ten, which is one one level. Uh, you can bump up the recovery So basically do something like this. So now you have a 13 on resilient or on mobility eight I don't know. This one's pretty rough just because again. I liked I value high mobility on my hunter. So That one I don't know could work. I mean the intellects pretty high You're basically getting one on everything except strength and strength doesn't really matter on a hunter and Fuck oh shit What's the one I have now? No. Ugh. That's very high intellect though, bro. That is very high intellect. What the fuck? That'd be a 38 if you give it the, in the intellect mod and once it's master work. That's pretty filthy actually. Um, well, wait, how about this? So 12, 12, 12 mobility, nine resilience and 18 recovery. I don't know this. Mm, it seems like, like I would get this, but at the same time I'm losing so much. Cause like on my iron will boots, I have 20 mo mobility, 22 recovery, like 16 discipline and then 19. So I don't know. That's pretty much for the hundreds. Let's go on to the Titans. So for Titans, we have uh, way too high mobility in my opinion, way too high. Definitely, definitely not. I would not pick this up. Uh, Cause I, for, for Titan, I really value resilience, recovery, discipline, and intellect. Strength is like whatever's to me quite honestly. Uh, so if I have high, like, if I had to choose, it would be resilience, recovery, and intellect. Those are the two that I really, really, really always try to go for for my Titan. So this one is, it hits like almost all the marks like recovery at 10 doesn't really bother me if resilience was a little bit higher like if the 16 was actually on the resilience i would pick this up but no uh again mobility is way too high at 15 although discipline at 21 is pretty nice but uh as you guys as you can see like my iron forerunner is at 20 resilience 22 recovery and 18 discipline and the, the intellect is pretty low but at the same time like Everything else is so high that I'm like, ah, fuck it, I don't care. Um, this this is not bad actually. This is pretty good because as you can, um, my Iron Forerunner helmet's a little bit better. Actually, it's better overall. Actually, <laughs> I was gonna say it's a little better. You know, it's better because uh, it's literally almost the same thing. Oh, okay, so that's unfortunate. Well, not unfortunate for me because I don't have to pick it up, but it's still pretty good. I would put the, I would definitely put the resilience on this one just so I can get an, a boost on that. Although it is pretty low, but at the same time, you definitely want high resilience if you're a Titan. 
and really bad at boots. Wow, these are really bad. Don't pick the. Well, I mean, you get one on any all of them, and then you can get a uh, an extra one on whichever one you choose. But like, I definitely want to have at least a twenty somewhere that I care about, and tens are just kind of like. Oof. So let's look at the warlock. And last but not least, we have the Warlock. Let's look at this uh, high strength. Very, very high strength. Jesus Christ. Uh, if you're trying to go for a high strength build, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, that being said, I would never do a high strength build because I don't value that. So for me, this is kind of like, it's interesting. Definitely interesting. I just don't know if I would pick it up. Uh, fuck it. Why not? Okay, that's that mobility is way high. Nah, I, I I would skip that immediately. Damn, that resilience though. Fuck, resilience is pretty high. I mean, pretty high to 25. Fucking default 20 25, bro. That's pretty fucking filthy. Intellect is at 27 with or 17. I mean, it's pretty good. But you're already getting that 12 on on recovery, which is like the main thing you need as a warlock. I, I'll pick this up just because the, the the resilience is just that high, but uh, I don't know. And mobility is way too high for this one as well. And the, and the recovery is a little too low for me, so. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's uh, go back to my hunter, so that way I can get an exotic for my hunter. So let's check out what we actually get for the exotic engram, and then uh, I'll get started. Fucking really? <laughs> uh... That's shittier than the one I have. Wow. Wow. That... That's that type of shit that irks me, dog. Like, what the fuck, bro? So, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh... Everyone got some pretty cool stuff, I guess. I don't know, Titans. I think you guys got dicked, uh... With your... Your exotic roll and the armor, if I remember correctly. But... Warlocks, y'all got some weird... Fu you, got, you guys got, like, a lot of shit that was very high for some odd reason. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let links are in the description below. I will be doing the fashion video most likely tomorrow. Uh, unless I do it really fast today, then I might actually post it today. Either way, I will see you guys later.